Why do some women push away a good man, even when everything seems perfect? This is a question that leaves many men baffled, replaying every moment to figure out what went wrong. In today's video, I'm diving deep into this uncomfortable truth, revealing eight reasons why women might sabotage a good thing, even when it feels like the connection is perfect. This isn't about being bitter or blaming women. It's about shedding light on certain behaviors that can leave men feeling confused and frustrated. By understanding these reasons and applying a stoic mindset, you'll be able to navigate these dynamics without losing your peace of mind. Stick with me until the end, because each point will help you see things from a new perspective, and it could be the key to saving yourself from a lot of emotional turmoil in the future. Let's get into it. Number one, nature's replacement drive. The first reason is something that's deeply rooted in biology, the replacement drive. Women are influenced by evolutionary programming that pushes them to secure the highest value partner possible for their own well-being and future offspring. Even when she's genuinely happy with you, there's a subconscious mechanism in her mind that's always assessing if she's chosen the right person. It's an instinct designed to ensure she's with someone who can provide, protect, and offer the best chance for a stable future. Think about it like this. Imagine you're on a solid career path, but you keep your eyes open for better job opportunities. It's not that you hate your current job. You simply want to ensure you're making the best choice for your long-term goals. In relationships, this manifests as a subconscious urge in women to evaluate if there's a better option available, even when things are good. Let's say you started off strong in the relationship. You were confident, ambitious, and seemed like the best choice for her. But over time, perhaps you became more complacent or started neglecting the small things that made her feel secure. Without realizing it, she might begin to pull away, become more critical, or even show interest in other people. It may feel like sabotage, but in her mind, this is an unconscious attempt to gauge if she made the right choice or if she should be looking elsewhere. It's easy to feel hurt or betrayed when this happens. You might ask yourself, why would she do this if we were happy? But remember the Stoic lesson from Marcus Aurelius, accept what is given to you. Instead of taking it personally, recognize that this is a natural survival mechanism. It's not about you lacking worth. It's about her mind searching for security and reassurance. As a Stoic, your response shouldn't be to try and control her feelings or actions. Instead, focus on what's within your control, your own growth and self-improvement. By consistently striving to be your best self, not for her approval, but because it's part of your Stoic journey, you demonstrate the strength and value that her instincts are seeking. If you're grounded in your purpose and personal development, her doubts may subside, as she'll feel reassured that she's already with a strong, high-value partner. So, if you notice signs of sabotage in your relationship, don't rush to label her as disloyal or manipulative. Instead, Recognize that this behavior might stem from her primal instincts. It's an opportunity for you to reflect on whether you've become complacent or if there are areas where you've stopped showing up as your best self. Embrace the challenge as a call to realign with your highest standards. And remember that your sense of self-worth should never depend on external validation. It should come from the unshakable core of who you are. Number two, thriving on tension and drama. This next point might catch you off guard. Many women actually thrive on a certain level of tension and drama in relationships. It's not because she wants to create problems or sabotage what you have together. Instead, it's because a bit of emotional turbulence 
can bring excitement, keeping the relationship dynamic and engaging. If everything is smooth and predictable all the time, she might start to feel a sense of boredom or emotional stagnation. This can lead her to unconsciously stir up conflict or escalate minor issues, not to destroy the relationship, but to reignite the spark. Think of a great movie. If the plot is flat and predictable, the audience loses interest quickly. The same principle applies in relationships. While men often crave peace and stability, women may find that a bit of unpredictability and emotional highs and lows keep the connection exciting. It's not that she enjoys the arguments or chaos, but the emotional roller coaster can make her feel more alive, more connected, and more engaged with the relationship. Let's say everything has been going smoothly between you two for a while. There's no conflict, no tension, just consistent routine and harmony. Out of nowhere, she picks a fight over something minor, like a comment you made or a plan that changed slightly. You might be left wondering why she's upset when there's no real issue. What's happening here is that she's unconsciously injecting a bit of drama to break the monotony and test the depth of your connection. In these moments, it's essential to remember Seneca's advice. He who is brave is free. It's easy to become frustrated or defensive when you sense her creating drama, especially when everything seemed fine. But a stoic approach would encourage you to embrace this tension with a calm and steady demeanor. Instead of reacting with irritation or trying to avoid the conflict, lean into it with courage and emotional stability. By doing so, you show her that you're not afraid of the ups and downs, that you're resilient and capable of handling whatever comes your way. When she brings tension into the relationship, don't see it as an attack or a sign of doom. Instead, view it as an opportunity to show your emotional strength. If she's escalating a small issue, stay calm, acknowledge her feelings, and respond with empathy rather than defensiveness. For example, if she gets upset about something trivial, don't dismiss her emotions or argue back immediately. Instead, listen, validate her perspective, and maintain your composure. This shows her that you're unshaken by the chaos and that you can provide the emotional stability she subconsciously craves. This doesn't mean you should intentionally create drama or constantly engage in conflict. The key is to understand that a certain amount of emotional fluctuation is natural in relationships, especially when the honeymoon phase starts to fade. It's about striking a balance, providing a stable foundation while also embracing the occasional turbulence that can make the relationship feel more vibrant and alive. Your job isn't to avoid all conflict or tension, but to navigate it with grace and confidence. By doing so, you demonstrate true stoic strength and become the kind of partner she can deeply respect and trust. The ups and downs become less about turmoil and more about deepening the connection as she feels reassured that you can handle the full range of her emotions without losing your cool. So, now that you understand why tension and a bit of drama might actually be keeping the spark alive in your relationship, I want to hear from you. How do you typically handle these moments of emotional turbulence? Do you lean into it with calm and confidence, or do you find yourself getting frustrated and defensive? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you agree that embracing the ups and downs is key to building a stronger connection, simply type, I embrace the storm. Let's continue on this journey together. Number three, the constant quest for attention. Let's tackle a behavior that many men find perplexing and at times frustrating, a woman's craving for attention. Even in a healthy, committed relationship, she might still seek validation from external sources. This can manifest in various ways, 
posting selfies on social media for likes and comments, dressing up for attention at work, or engaging in light, seemingly harmless flirting with others. It's easy to assume that she's looking for someone better or that she's dissatisfied with you. But often, that's not the case. Instead, this behavior is tied to a deeper need for validation and a desire to feel seen. Women often seek attention because it provides a sense of affirmation and reassurance. In today's world, where social media and external validation are constant, it's easy for anyone to feel the need for that little extra boost to their self-esteem. For many women, attention from others serves as a temporary fix, a way to confirm their attractiveness or worth. It's not necessarily about wanting someone else, it's about wanting to feel valued. Imagine you're out with your partner and she starts taking selfies or seems more focused on her phone, checking notifications and comments. You might feel overlooked, wondering why she needs this external approval when you're right there, giving her your full attention. Or perhaps she's overly friendly with male colleagues, making you question if you're enough for her. These behaviors can be disheartening because they make it seem like she's seeking something outside the relationship. In moments like these, the stoic concept of ataraxia, a state of serene calmness, becomes your best tool. Instead of allowing her need for attention to disturb your peace, take a step back and understand that this behavior often stems from her own insecurities, not a lack of appreciation for you. It's a reflection of her inner struggle to feel validated, not a sign that you're falling short. Instead of reacting, shift your focus back to yourself. Engage in activities that build your own self-esteem and remind yourself of your value. By staying grounded and not letting her actions dictate your emotional state, you demonstrate true inner strength and confidence. This kind of calm, unshakable presence is attractive and reassuring, showing her that you're not easily rattled by external factors. While it's crucial to maintain your own sense of self-worth, it's also helpful to understand where this need for attention might be coming from. Has she been feeling neglected or underappreciated lately? It's worth considering whether there are ways you can make her feel more seen and valued within the relationship, without compromising your own boundaries or sense of self. This doesn't mean you should become her constant source of validation that's not healthy for either of you. Instead, focus on creating a relationship environment where she feels genuinely appreciated. Compliment her, notice the little things, and be present when you're together. This way, she may feel less of a need to seek that affirmation elsewhere. By responding with understanding and calmness rather than frustration or jealousy, you show her that you're secure in yourself. This kind of emotional resilience is powerful and magnetic, reinforcing your position as a strong, steady partner who doesn't crumble under pressure. In the end, practicing ataraxia not only protects your peace, but also helps bring a sense of stability back to the relationship. You become the rock she can lean on, even when her own insecurities create waves. Number four, survival mode, the hypergamous instinct. This one can feel like a gut punch, especially if you believe the relationship is solid and secure. But understanding the hypergamous instinct can offer some clarity. Hypergamy is the subconscious tendency women have to seek out the highest value partner available a partner who can provide the best resources, protection, and social status. This isn't about superficial desires, it's about survival, a deeply ingrained drive that has been part of human nature for thousands of years. Women's mating strategies are shaped by the instinct to secure the best possible future for themselves and their potential offspring. Whether consciously or subconsciously, 
she's constantly evaluating whether her current partner is the best option. This doesn't mean she's actively searching for someone better while she's with you, but her instincts are wired to assess if her needs are being fully met. Needs that include financial security, emotional safety, and social standing. Picture a scenario where you're going through a tough period. Maybe you've lost a job, hit a rough financial patch, or seem less driven and focused than you were at the start of the relationship. Even if she loves you, these changes might trigger her hypergamous instinct. She might start to pull away, become more critical, or question the future of the relationship. It's not that she's stopped loving you, it's that her survival instincts are kicking in, making her assess whether staying with you is the best choice for her long-term security. This can be hard to swallow, especially if you're giving everything you have to the relationship. But as Stoics teach, we must accept the reality of human nature rather than wish it were different. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, nature does nothing in vain. The hypergamous instinct is part of her nature, driven by a desire for security. Instead of feeling betrayed, understand that it's not a personal attack. It's a reflection of her natural survival strategy. When you notice signs of hypergamous behavior, such as her becoming more distant, critical, or questioning the relationship, it's easy to feel insecure or frustrated. But reacting emotionally only plays into the narrative that you might not be the best option for her. Instead, demonstrate your value through your actions. Refocus on your goals, take charge of your personal growth, and show that you're capable of providing stability and leadership. Hypergamy doesn't have to be seen as a negative force that's sabotaging your relationship. Instead, it can be an opportunity for you to level up. If you view her subconscious need for a high-value partner as a challenge rather than a threat, it can inspire you to continue striving for excellence in your life. Focus on your career, your health, your mental strength, and your social connections. This isn't about trying to impress her or anyone else. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. In doing so, you naturally align with the traits her hypergamous instincts are seeking. You show her that she already has the highest value partner without needing to look elsewhere. Remember, a Stoic's goal is not to control others, but to master oneself. By staying focused on your own growth and stability, you become a source of security that her instincts will recognize and gravitate towards. Understanding the hypergamous instinct can feel like a tough pill to swallow, especially if you've been giving everything to the relationship. But I'd love to hear what you think about this. Have you ever experienced moments where it felt like her instincts were testing your value? How did you handle it? Share your experiences in the comments. And if you agree that embracing this challenge is key to growth, type, I rise to the challenge. Now, let's keep watching. Number five, playing mind games for psychological leverage. Let's address a behavior that many men encounter, but few understand, mind games. It's one of the most frustrating aspects of dating and relationships. When she seems to manipulate your emotions, tests your boundaries, or tries to make you jealous. This behavior isn't always malicious, but it's a tactic women often use to gain psychological leverage and secure a sense of control within the relationship. Mind games are about maintaining power and influence. It's her way of ensuring that she has a certain level of control, making you feel uncertain and emotionally invested. This isn't necessarily because she wants to hurt you. It's often a subconscious strategy to keep you hooked, to test your commitment, and to gauge how much you care. By playing these games, she keeps you on your toes, ensuring that you remain emotionally engaged and attentive. 
Imagine she starts flirting with another guy in front of you, or she suddenly becomes distant, ignoring your texts and acting cold. You feel a wave of confusion and jealousy. You start to wonder, did I do something wrong? Is she losing interest? In reality, she might be testing your reaction, trying to see if you'll chase after her or show signs of desperation. It's her way of gaining a psychological edge, keeping you off balance and making you more emotionally invested in the relationship. This is where the wisdom of Epictetus comes into play. Be content to be thought foolish. In other words, don't get sucked into her games. When she tries to manipulate your emotions or test your boundaries, the worst thing you can do is react impulsively or emotionally. If you get caught up in her tactics, you give away your power and show her that you can be easily controlled. Instead, practice emotional detachment. This doesn't mean ignoring her or shutting down completely. It means refusing to let her actions dictate your feelings or behavior. When she flirts with someone else or starts acting distant, don't immediately jump to conclusions or chase after her for reassurance. Take a step back, observe her behavior without judgment, and maintain your inner calm. By staying composed, you show her that you're not easily swayed by these games, that your sense of self-worth isn't dependent on her validation. In Stoicism, we learn to hold our frame, to stay grounded and true to our values, regardless of external circumstances. When she plays mind games, she's trying to pull you out of your frame, to make you act out of fear or insecurity. If you react, you're giving her the leverage she's seeking. But if you remain calm, confident, and unaffected, you keep the power in your own hands. If she tries to make you jealous by mentioning other guys or flirting in front of you, respond with calm indifference. Don't let your emotions take control. Instead, smile, acknowledge her attempt, and continue being your confident self. This doesn't mean you should tolerate disrespect, but it does mean you shouldn't react with insecurity or anger. If her behavior crosses a line, address it calmly and assertively, without losing your cool. In time, she may realize that her games don't work on you, and she'll begin to respect you more for it. Your refusal to play along shifts the dynamic of the relationship. You're no longer chasing her approval or trying to win her over through reactive behavior. Instead, you're leading with calm confidence, embodying the stoic ideal of inner tranquility and self-control. Number six, acting on pure emotion, not logic. One of the most perplexing reasons women sometimes sabotage good relationships is their tendency to act on pure emotion rather than logic. This can be deeply frustrating, especially if you're a man who tends to solve problems rationally and assumes that a stable relationship should naturally lead to stability in her feelings. However, the reality is that women are often more influenced by how they feel in the present moment than by logical reasoning or the overall trajectory of the relationship. Women's emotional responses are often intense and immediate, driven by instincts and feelings rather than calculated decisions. While you might be focused on the logical aspects of the relationship, compatibility, shared goals, mutual respect, she's more likely to be influenced by the emotional climate. If she feels a sudden wave of doubt, insecurity, or even boredom, those emotions can override the logical reasons for staying in the relationship. This is why you might see her pull away or end things abruptly, even when everything seemed to be going well. Picture this. She's dating a guy who treats her well, is stable, supportive, and seems to check all the boxes for what she says she wants. Yet, one day, she decides to leave him for someone who appears less reliable, but gives her an emotional thrill. 
to the outside observer, this decision makes no sense. It seems irrational. But from her perspective, it's about following what she feels in the moment. The excitement or intensity she experiences with this new person temporarily outweighs the logic of being with the stable, reliable partner. As frustrating as it can be, this behavior isn't about you falling short. It's often a reflection of her own inner turmoil. The stoic concept of apathia, freedom from being controlled by intense emotions, can offer guidance here. Epictetus reminds us, we are not disturbed by things, but by the views we take of them. In other words, it's not her emotional whims that cause your distress, but rather how you interpret and react to them. So, how should you respond when she acts on pure emotion? The answer lies in maintaining your own emotional equilibrium. If she suddenly pulls away or starts acting erratically, don't chase after her or try to reason with her in the heat of the moment. Instead, ground yourself in your own values and purpose. Give her the space to sort through her feelings without adding pressure. This isn't about playing hard to get. It's about showing her that you're not easily swayed by her emotional ups and downs. By practicing emotional detachment, you become a source of calm in her storm. This doesn't mean you're indifferent or that you don't care. It means you're not letting her emotional swings dictate your own emotional state. The more you can maintain this inner peace, the more she'll start to see you as a steady, reliable presence, someone who isn't easily thrown off balance. Over time, this kind of emotional resilience can help her feel safer and more secure in the relationship. She'll come to trust that you won't crumble under pressure or react impulsively when things get tough. Instead, you offer a grounded, stable presence that can weather her emotional fluctuations giving her the space to sort out her feelings without fear of pushing you away. If this resonates with you, I'd love to hear your take. Have you ever found yourself caught off guard by her sudden emotional shifts? How did you handle it? And what did you learn from the experience? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're committed to being that calm, steady presence despite the emotional storms, simply type I am the anchor. Your perspective could help others who are navigating similar dynamics. Number seven, the illusion of unlimited options. In today's digital age, the illusion of unlimited options has become a major factor in why women sometimes sabotage good relationships. The rise of social media, dating apps, and constant online connectivity has created a marketplace where it feels like there's an endless supply of potential partners. With just a swipe or a scroll through her Instagram feed, she's exposed to countless men showcasing their most attractive and exciting selves. This constant influx of attention can create a powerful illusion, the belief that there's always someone better just around the corner. This phenomenon is known as the paradox of choice. The more options she thinks she has, the harder it becomes for her to feel satisfied with what she already has. Even if she's in a solid, loving relationship, she might start to feel restless or tempted to explore what else is out there. It's not necessarily because she's unhappy or that her current partner is lacking. It's the seductive power of what could be. The grass always looks greener on the other side when you're constantly exposed to curated images and highlight reels of other people's lives. Imagine you're dating someone who seems happy and fulfilled in the relationship. Yet, you notice that she's frequently on her phone, engaging with strangers on social media or scrolling through dating apps even if it's just out of boredom. She might tell herself it's harmless, but subconsciously, she's feeding the idea that there could be someone better out there. This mindset 
often leads her to question the relationship, even if you're giving her everything she needs. It's the pull of the illusion, the idea that by leaving, she might find something more exciting, more perfect. The Stoics warn us about the dangers of chasing after things outside our control, especially illusions created by external influences. Marcus Aurelius wisely observed, if you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. In other words, her dissatisfaction isn't rooted in reality, but in her perception, her belief that something better must exist simply because she can see glimpses of it online. As a Stoic, your job is not to convince her that you're the best choice or to compete with these fleeting illusions. Instead, focus on building and maintaining your own value, rooted in substance, not superficiality. The modern world thrives on the appearance of endless choices, but real, meaningful connections are rare and valuable. By staying true to your path and focusing on self-improvement, you set yourself apart from the noise and distractions. Over time, the constant chase for external validation and the illusion of unlimited options often leads to a sense of emptiness. The excitement of new attention fades quickly, while the value of a strong, stable partnership becomes clearer. But she needs to come to this realization on her own. You can't force her to see the difference between fleeting excitement and genuine connection. As a Stoic, trust that your value will speak for itself. Continue to focus on your own growth, character, and purpose. Let her experience the highs and lows of chasing illusions while you remain steady and unaffected. Eventually, she may come to realize that what she has with you is far more meaningful than the temporary thrill of online attention. Number eight, it's not about you. It's about her future security. This final point can be the most difficult to accept. It's rarely about you as an individual. When a woman decides to stay or leave, it's often less about who you are and more about what you can offer for her future security and happiness. In her eyes, you represent a potential pathway to a stable and fulfilling future. This doesn't mean she's cold or calculating. It's rooted in a biological drive that prioritizes her long-term well-being and survival. Women have an instinctive focus on securing the best possible outcome for their future. This isn't about being materialistic or shallow. It's about a subconscious assessment of what will best ensure her survival and potentially the survival of her future children. If she senses that you can't meet her needs, whether those are financial, emotional, or social, she may start to pull away or even sabotage the relationship, seeking a better opportunity elsewhere. Consider a scenario where she's dating a great guy, someone who's kind, loyal, and loving. Despite this, she ends the relationship abruptly and starts dating someone with a higher income or better social connections. To outsiders, this might look like she's trading love for status or resources, but in her mind, she's making a decision based on what she believes will best serve her future security. Her primary concern isn't just the here and now, it's what lies ahead. Will she be well taken care of? Will she have a stable life? Will her future children be supported? The Stoic approach here is to release any attachment to specific outcomes. As hard as it may be, you must recognize that her behavior is driven by her own instincts and needs, not necessarily by a lack of love or appreciation for you. Marcus Aurelius once said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. If her actions lead her to seek something different, don't see it as a barrier to your happiness. See it as an opportunity for growth and self-reflection. 
instead of becoming bitter or resentful, focus on building your own future security and well-being. Don't try to mold yourself into what you think she wants or chase after her approval. Instead, work on becoming the architect of your own life, creating a path that aligns with your true values and goals. If you find that she's starting to pull away or showing signs of doubt about the relationship, don't panic or try to convince her of your worth. Instead, take a step back and evaluate your own life. Are you on a path that brings you security and fulfillment, independent of her presence? Are you building a future that you can be proud of, whether or not she's a part of it? By answering these questions honestly and making adjustments where needed, you not only strengthen your own position, but also become more attractive to anyone who values stability and purpose. It's important to distinguish between true value and perceived value. In today's society, it's easy to get caught up in external markers of success, wealth, status, popularity. But true stoic value comes from inner strength, resilience, and integrity. While her instincts may drive her to seek out perceived value in the form of financial stability or social status, the person who embodies true value will always stand out in the long run. This is why it's crucial to focus on developing your character and purpose. When you build your life on a strong foundation of values, rather than superficial markers of success, you attract people who see and appreciate your true worth. It's not about what you can provide materially. It's about the kind of person you are and the life you're creating. By becoming the architect of your own life, you shift the focus from what you can offer for her to what you can build for yourself. This mindset not only frees you from the need for external validation, but also makes you the kind of person who is truly secure, independent, and fulfilled. And ironically, it's often this kind of inner strength and self-assurance that attracts the right partner. Someone who values you not just for what you can provide, but for who you truly are. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You're already showing the kind of commitment to self-growth that will serve you well. Now that we've covered why a woman's actions are often guided by her instincts for future security, rather than a lack of appreciation for you, I'd love to know your thoughts. Has focusing on your own values and purpose helped you navigate relationships more peacefully? Drop a comment below and share your insights. Or simply type, I build my own path. If you're committed to becoming the architect of your life, focusing on what truly matters to you. Your story might just inspire someone else. As we conclude today's in-depth look at why some women might push away a good man even when all seems perfect, we've traveled through a landscape rich with psychological insights and stoic wisdom. This journey isn't merely about uncovering uncomfortable truths, but about fostering a deeper understanding of the intricate dynamics that shape our relationships. By delving into these reasons, from biological drives to the quest for emotional excitement, we equip ourselves with the knowledge to navigate these complexities without losing our peace of mind. Reflecting on the lessons we've discussed today is crucial. Each point not only broadens our perspective, but also strengthens our emotional resilience. Understanding that certain behaviors are rooted in deep-seated instincts or emotional needs can transform how we approach potential conflicts, allowing us to respond with patience and insight rather than frustration or confusion. The Stoic principles of focusing on what we can control and maintaining an inner calm are more than philosophical ideals. They are practical tools that can lead to real change in our lives and relationships. Now, I invite you to share your reflections and experiences. Have you encountered similar challenges in your relationships? What strategies have you used to cope and what insights have you gained? 
Engaging in this conversation isn't just about sharing stories. It's about building a community of support and understanding. If this video has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more discussions like this. We delve into topics that not only challenge us, but also inspire us to grow and improve in all areas of life. Before you go, take a moment to check out the videos recommended on your screen. They are selected to complement what we've discussed today, offering further insights into managing relationships with wisdom and equanimity. Thank you for spending your time with me today. Your engagement and thoughtful responses truly enrich our discussions. Remember, every step towards understanding is a step towards personal growth and deeper connections. Keep striving, keep reflecting, and continue to nurture the tranquility within yourself and your relationships.